In a brilliant move, Pakistan's ambassador to the UN, Maliha Lodi, has got the entire Indian media talking about pellet gun victims of Kashmir. When the Indian Foreign Minister Sushma Sara took to the stage and bashed Pakistan for allegedly supporting terrorism in the region, but Pakistan walu, aapne kya banaya? Aapne lashkar taiba banaya. Aapne jeshe Muhammad banaya. Aapne hakkani network banaya. The public looked impressed, but it all lasted the moment Maliha Lodi took over the mic. She started off with calling India as the mother of terrorism. All this establishes that India is the mother of terrorism in South Asia. And said that India is carrying out state-sponsored terrorism in Pakistan. Part its sponsorship of terrorist groups inside Pakistan. And then she took out a picture of a girl's face, which appeared to have been hit by pellets. And while Maliha waved the picture in the United Nations, she said that this is the result of India using pellet guns in Kashmir. Pakistani people back home were thinking that once Maliha's speech is over, everyone will forget about the pellet gun victims of Kashmir, and the UN, as always, will remain weak. But little did anyone know that Maliha Lodi was playing a game, and India was falling right into the trap. After her speech was over, Indian media found out that the picture Maliha waved in the UN actually belonged to a victim from Gaza and was taken in 2014. What happened after that was that the entire Indian media was frantically using the word pellet guns for the first Maliha time in Lodi years. Pictures of a girl with pellet injuries on her face and said, Although they were apparently targeting Maliha Lodi for the mix-up, in reality, they were making the term pellet guns go viral. Now, anyone who gets the news of the blunder by Maliha Lodi also gets to know that there is a weapon called pellet gun that India is using on innocent Kashmiri people. India has been caught, and it still doesn't know that it has been caught. Well played, Maliha.